Hi, welcome to the Virtual Electrician, TVE, your one-stop shop for do-it-yourself electrical help. Today, let's talk about installing a ground rod. You will need a ground rod, sledgehammer, acorn, wrench, and ground wire. The size of the ground wire will depend on the size of your service. A 100 amp service will require a number six ground wire. A 200 amp service will require a number four ground wire. You don't want to install it right next to the house because you will hit the house's foundation about a foot down. Come out about 12 inches to be safe. Don't come out too far though because it can be a tripping hazard. When you are installing the ground rod, you can either pound it straight down or you can pound it in at an angle. You want to put the acorn on the ground rod before you hammer it down because when you drive this rod, you will mushroom the head and the acorn won't fit over it when you're done. Pouring water over the spot you will be driving the rod down will help sink it faster. Leave about two inches sticking up from the ground. Now you will install the ground wire into the panel. You will attach it to the ground bar. Next, secure the ground wire to the studs. Drill your hole to the outside and silicone the hole after I stick it through. Stick the ground wire outside. Attach the conduit on the ground wire to protect it until it gets to the dirt. Then insert the ground wire into the point of the acorn and bend it over. Tighten down with wrench. Pound any exposed ground wire down into the dirt with a sledgehammer. After you're done, your ground rod should look like this. Visit thevirtualelectrician.com for more help, like this video, and subscribe to a link for 150 other videos.